as it was reported that the name of none other than Mr. Jablan Kumalo is written on uh, look is on the, look is his number one on the list of people that are going to parliament and it was trending you know what i'm saying i did not pay attention to that and i was like oh is this even real right well don't worry uh, mk political party have written to the national assembly to say yep, remove that name jablan kumar remove jablan kumar's name on that list we don't want to get into something else but please we do not want that name called Jablan Kumalo on the list. Uh, okay, okay, you know, because you guys like proof, I'm gonna show you. There was an art, there's an article that was released today. Um, it was released by ooh, I can't see the oh, yes, I see it was released, it was written by Sipochek on IOL. The heading of the article says MK to remove uh Kumalo from from its list of uh of will be MK candidate. Um, Kandawa says a party has written to the National Assembly NA uh, secretary to remove. Uh, Jablan Kumalo from the party's candidate list. We're about to get into this one. Uh, I will say that Kanti MK, but now they were not aware that Mr. Jablan Kumalo's name is there. Like, why wouldn't, why would they wait until this time? I don't get it. Maybe they do. You know, I'm a man, I mean, born under sin, subject to correction. But here's the thing. Why? Because, I'm, I mean, I feel like what would have happened in a waste case scenario? He gets voted. I mean, he gets, uh, look, the, the National Assembly says, but the, the, the party is allowed to pull with the local to pull out. Uh, oh, yes, I remember. The party is allowed to withdraw you from parliament at any given time. So just like uh, Uzu Zagoto has resigned, so it's just possible. It's just that we know with Kumalo, he wouldn't have resigned. He wouldn't have He wouldn't have stepped down. But again, you know what? You know what? I don't want us also to step down. This is what I want us to do. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay all right all right relax relax now we want to read this and we want to go through every single thing Party spokesperson Samuel Ndlela told the Star on on Thursday that the party will not take will not take expel members to Parliament. Yeah, it makes logical sense. I mean, why would you? Why would you? You will be a hypocrite. So Thursday is today, by the way. He then say, "Remember, this is an old list." But we have written to the pa to, to look to to the parliament secretary to remove him officially from our list. We can't have expel members representing our party in parliament, Zela said, which is quite fair. Like, like you you can't. You just cannot. Like it's just practically impossible. But he was clarifying the issue of Kumalo's name appearing on the list of candidates who are going to be sown in Parliament on Thursday. Which Thursday? Kumalo topped the list of members of Parliament, uh, the list of members of Parliament, followed by J Jacob Zuma's daughter, Dodozile Zuma Sambulda, at number 16, Lela. Uh, look. At, num at, numbers, at number 16, Zela at number 22, uh, Desfan Ruen, among others. Oh, okay. 
Well, the numbers doesn't necessarily mean, uh, look, uh, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, because, I mean, whether you're number three or number five, so like, you are going to parliament. That's the bottom line. Kumalo is still claims, look, Kumalo still claims to be one of the leaders of the MK party who was currently in court to seek the court to order the removal of Jacob Zuma as a party leader. Chief Justice Raymond Zondo has submitted the list of future MPs to the Secretary of Parliament. All 58 uh, local party, look, MK party candidate are expected to boycott parliament as the party was fighting for the Electoral Commission of uh, of South Africa, IEC, to recount its vote. This is the party leader threatened to take the IEC to court after he accused it of various election irregularities, including vote regular, look, rigging. Well, Addressing the party supporters outside Johannesburg High Court. Jacob Zuma said IEC refused to recount the vote despite the party having evidence of vote rigging. What happened if the IEC official took MK vote and gave them to other political parties? We have concrete evidence to back it to back this. Should they continue ignoring us? We will look. We we could refuse to take up our seat in parliament. That is the MK stance. Let's proceed. The house. No, the, no, it says the house rules dictate that uh, dictate that there has to be four. Now, they, now listen. There has to be uh, there has to be four hundred or three hundred and fifty candidates to constitute parliament in order to elect the Speaker of the House and other senior officials uh, or other senior officers' uh, office barriers. If the MK party choose to boycott the first sitting, the election of both the President and the Speaker will not happen. Out of the Guazulu Natal legislature, it's 80 seats. The MK party has 37, meaning the provincial legislature first sitting will be at risk of collapsing should the MK party boycott the session. I remember I saw something or some the, the reason I chose to read the entire article, it is because of the following, what I'm about to say now. I came across this. Somebody says they need about 150, but here they are saying you need 350. Now, let me say, they, they say you need at least 350. And when that person said that, I was like, when the person says they need about from 150 to get paid, I was like, nah, man. I know Jacob Zuma doesn't just do things. They are, they would have strategically planned that. So if you look at, if all the parties were to agree to go to parliament, only MK boycott. MK has got, so you say, you will say 400 minus 58. You, you see that they will never meet the threshold. So if MK decide that ah, we've got our vote, so let's decide on what we're going to do with our vote. Ah, ben. Bayo card. Question to Zoom. Ah, banye ben. Bayo card. What are you saying? What do you think about everything that I've just shared with you? You and I, guys, will meet in the next video. But until such a time, please take care.